hello friends welcome to the first tutorial of php and in this i will tell you what is the requirement of php so that you can download this that stuff and then we can start with the actual coding stuff first of all click on your browser and then type in google.com and then type vamp server w a m p s e r v e r click enter Ah, uh, you can also use XAMPP server also, but I recommend you to use the XAMPP server because all the tutorials will be based on these XAMPP server only. So click on the XAMPP server, and you can click here start using the XAMPP server. Click here, and then download according to your system's requirement. If it's a 32-bit system, then download the 32-bit version. Otherwise, a 64-bit version. As I have already downloaded this. So I will directly lead you to the VAM server that how it actually works. So minimizing the browser and hmm, VAM server. Click here. Uh, it requires administration. And then you will see here it's a this this icon in green color. It actually also occurs in red and orange color. If it's in red color it means put online so it will if it's an orange color it means it's offline and if it's in green color it means it's in online form it's activated and one more thing i would like to tell you if there is any problem coming you no know, if you want to check that your vam server is actually working so just click new tab and type localhost l o c a l h o s t and then press enter if this occurs uh, this comes then it means your vam server is working perfectly you don't have to do anything else if not then i would like to suggest you that the reason could be possibly be like it's not in green color it might be in red or in orange uh if it's in orange color then i would recommend you to uninstall your vamp server first and then go to the microsoft's website and download the uh, runtime library c++ runtime library which is available for free or you can uh, you can then reinstall this vamp server and then i hope your problem will be gone so if this window is coming means your vamp server is working perfectly fine next thing is that you can write your code in normal text document or you can go type that in notepad++ plus plus, google it note notepad++ plus plus, click here and then go to the notepad++ plus plus house home uh, it's a demo type that you can actually know how you are going to work in notepad++ plus plus. click any of the version which is the latest release click on downloads and download any one because notepad++ plus plus 6. any version you can download by any version of the notepad++ plus plus. and then we will proceed further because we are going to type in notepad++ plus plus only as i can show you after installing you will you will get like this mm. it's a new file and then there can be a multiple languages a to any p q r s so we will go to the language like this php and then we are going to uh, type this i am not actually showing you how we are going to work in right now because i i just want to know that I want you to know that what is required so you just need two things actually three things being specific a web browser and uh, like this a chrome i'm using chrome and a vamp server which i've already shown you and it's working here and it's green and a notepad plus plus so these are the three basic requirements for the uh, uh, so that you can actually run your php programs okay thank you for watching and in the next tutorial I am going to teach you or tell you basically why VAMP, uh, this PHP is important. What are the importance of PHP? 
and why you should learn PHP and it is high time if you have already not learned so that learn this language because it is really important and I will research on some of the stuff so that you can actually know that why PHP is important okay thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe because I am going to teach you for different tutorials and I will be updated soon thank you for watching